Today we're at beautiful Honey Oil Lake in the Finger Lakes at the New York State Boat Launch and we're going to talk about how to do a rake toss. So first you're going to need two rakes. You can bind them together side by side with a couple of zip ties. Connect a carabiner to the end and you connect a rope to that carabiner. And that rope is gonna be 100 feet long and it's gonna be in increments a foot between each, you're gonna mark off each foot long section of that rope. So when you do throw the rake into the water, you will be able to judge just how deep it is. When you throw the rake into the water, you wanna make sure you secure the end because you don't want it to go in the water and not be able to retrieve the rake. So you pull it out and you look at all of the plants that you have on the rake and you separate them into piles. Here I'm separating them into piles by species to see what I have present in the lake. And there's some maybe Chinese mystery snails. This is some Elodea and that, that specimen there looks very bushy, but then we have another specimen of Elodea. The same plant just looks very different. So plants can look very different depending on where they are in their growth cycle. And then we have this one here, and this one is the same plant as well, only it's on the verge of dying, so it looks very different. We have some coontail, and that looks very different, that's very brown. And then you'll see there's some coontail that's very, very green and very fresh. And then some of it is much darker. So when looking at plant communities, you have to remember that one plant can look very different. It's a piece of pondweed there. Many different types of pondweed. Uh, we've got some eelgrass there up in the left-hand corner, which is a very good source of food for fish. So you always take a white bin with you and you put some water in it. And right now there's some coontail in the pail. So you take a piece off and you set it in the water. So when an aquatic plant is floating in the water, it will spread apart so you can really look at it if you need to ID it. So a lot of times you'll put a coin next to it for size comparison. So if you want to send a picture to someone to help you ID that plant, they will have an idea of how big those leaves, leaflets are. So here's just another look at all of the plants. So I believe there's, we pulled seven plants from that one rake toss. There's seven plants that we got out of that sample. And uh, sometimes there's more, sometimes there's less, but you can see the different the different ways that plants look. So now we've got another sample in the bin and that's Eurasian water milfoil, which is an invasive. And you see how I'm spreading it out in the water. I have the coin there for size comparison. And you can see that it has a blunt edge on the tip. It's got a little red tip. Uh, the stem is red. Those are some ID factors and when you're trying to ID aquatic plants, so thank you for watching. Anybody can make a rake for a rake toss. Uh, take a walk down to the end of your dock and drop it in and see what you find. If you need help IDing, you could always reach out to your local prism, in this case Finger Lakes Prism, and we could certainly help you ID some, some plants if you send us photographs.